Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Sorry, I'm about a minute late. I had a lot of things to do. Glory to your mighty name. Let us go ahead and pray. And I thank you again for joining us. This is the Heart of David International Ministry. I'm your pastor, Dr. Mark Dean. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. I said, glory to your mighty name. Let us go ahead and pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to you right now, Father God, with great excitement, great joy, great expectation, Father God. Great expectation in your word, great expectation in your will and in your way. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we want to be in your presence, Lord. We want to be in the presence of the Lord. We want you, Father God to abide in us, Lord Jesus, <clears throat> and to abide on us, Lord. We want to abide in the light, not in the darkness. We want to abide in the light and not in the darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Hallelujah, Father God. Hallelujah. Lord, we want to hunger and thirst after righteousness. We want to seek you, Lord Jesus with our whole heart, mind, body, soul, and spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, Lord, let this word go forth with power, with power, with an anointing that destroys the yoke, Lord. The word go forth for healing and deliverance, Lord. The word go forth, Father God, for miracles and signs and wonders. We thank you for deliverance and we thank you for healing right now. Hallelujah. We thank you for signs and wonders. We thank you for dreams and visions of Christ Jesus. Father God, we bless you and we praise you today. We honor you and we magnify you in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Let those who have ears, let them hear what thus said the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, Lord, I pray, Father, that I will always rightly divide the word of truth that I will always preach and live sound doctrine according to your word, your will, and your way, Father. Nobody else's way, but your way, according to your word. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Glory to your mighty name. Glory, glory, glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory to your mighty name. Uh, I don't know if I put a subject down there, but the subject today is uh, uh, to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus. To them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus. That is 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and chapter 2. It says, unto the church of God is at Corinth. To them that are sanctified in Jesus Christ. So the question is, are you sanctified in Jesus Christ? Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. That's coming out of 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Hallelujah. Verse 2. Glory to your mighty name. I said glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 All right, saints, let's talk. Are you sanctified? Hallelujah. In Christ Jesus. This goes back to what we have been preaching lately. Is Jesus Christ abiding in you? See, Paul said, hallelujah. Mm. He said, unto the church of God, which are at, which is at Corinth, to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints, with all that with all that in every place call upon the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, both theirs and ours. Hallelujah. Glory. He said unto the church of God, which is at Corinth. 
Hallelujah. And remember the subject. To them that are sanctified mm, in Christ Jesus. So he's saying right now, he's saying unto the church of God, which is at Corinth, to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints, with all that in every place called upon the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, both theirs and ours, that call upon the name of Jesus Christ, both theirs and ours. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. So we're talking about unto the church mm, of God, which is at Corinth, to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus. The subject right now, and we'll get to it later, to the to them, to the church that is sanctified in Christ Jesus. The question is, are you sanctified in Christ Jesus or are you sanctified the way you say you think you, you should be sanctified? Because if you're sanctified mm, unto Christ Jesus, according to his word, you are sanctified. But if you sanctified according to what you believe and how you think and don't nothing line up with the Bible, you're not saved. Well, pastor, you're judging. I'm not judging. I'm telling you the Bible. Lord Jesus. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we pray that the pure word of God go forth, Lord. We pray that sound doctrine go forth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Sound doctrine, Father God. Hallelujah. Let it be preached. Let it be taught, Lord. Let it be received in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We are not going to be long today, but I, I just want to let you know right now. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. To them that are, are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints. Hallelujah. Let me just go ahead and read a little bit. We're going to start off at, hallelujah, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 1. It says, Paul called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ through the will of God and slowest our brother. Hallelujah. Mm. Unto the church of God, which is at Corinth to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus called to be saints with all that in every place call upon the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, both theirs and ours. Grace be unto you and peace from God, our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God always on your behalf for the grace of God, which is given you by Jesus Christ. Mm. That in everything ye are enriched by him in all utterance mm. and in all knowledge, even as the testimony of Christ was conformed in you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let me read verse seven. So that ye come whoo, behind in no gifts. Waiting, Whew. waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, let's, let's go back. Whew. Glory to God. Verse 3 says this. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He said, grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Can grace and peace be unto you from God our Father? Is God your Father and is the Lord Jesus Christ really your Lord? Hallelujah. They had peace because they believed in God the Father. God was their Father. God is their Father. And the Lord Jesus Christ, he said, peace. Hallelujah. People are in church and they don't have peace of mind. 
They are in church and they worry. They can't go to sleep. Hallelujah. That's not having peace. You're being tormented in your mind. You're being tormented in your spirit. Hallelujah. You got to have peace in your mind. And you can't have peace. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Unless you are sanctified in Christ Jesus. See, once you're sanctified in Christ Jesus, the peace of God will be upon you. No matter what's going on in your life, it's the peace of God. Hallelujah. Glory. Verse 3 said, grace be unto you and peace. So now you have the grace and you have the peace mm, from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. From God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what he's telling you. Hallelujah. You have grace and peace. Grace to go through. Peace to go through. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Listen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Verse 4 says, I thank my God always on your behalf for the grace of God, which is given you by Jesus Christ. He said, I thank my God always on your behalf. That means Paul is praying for you. I'm praying, Lord, that you continue to bless that church that's in Corinth, Lord. Hallelujah. They've been a blessing, not just to that region, but they've been a blessing to me, your apostle that's called to the Gentiles. Hallelujah. I see grace and I see peace. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The grace of God. Hallelujah. Which is given to them by Christ Jesus. They have the grace of God, which is given to them by Christ Jesus. See this church right here. Hallelujah. They did everything the word told them to do. Hallelujah. They did it to the best of their ability. Hallelujah. They got grace and they got peace. When you have grace and you have peace from God, hallelujah, mm. of God, from Christ Jesus, through Christ Jesus, expect to see miracles, expect to see signs and wonders. Ask the Lord for dreams and visions and the interpretations of it. Hallelujah. If you get a nightmare, you rebuke it because that ain't nothing but the devil trying to snatch your mind. The devil is trying to snatch your blessing that God has given you. You got to understand how do we fight in our mind? That's why we pray every day. That's why we fast. That's why we read the word. That's why we meditate on the word. See, it's also good for you to read the word out loud. Why? Because faith come by hearing. You can hear yourself read the word. Glory to your mighty name. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hmm. Verse 5 in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 5, that in everything ye are enriched by him, in all utterance and in all knowledge, that in everything ye are enriched by him. In everything that you do, Jesus Christ is enriching you. He is giving you more. Hallelujah. My God, he is giving you more than what you asked for. He's giving you more, if I could say it this way, of what you can handle. God is enriching you. He is saturating you. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. I said, glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory. In all utterance and in all knowledge, God has given you knowledge from on high that only Christ Jesus can give you. Hallelujah. Cut that out. Glory to your mighty name. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you. Mm. Listen, God has... Mm, glory to God. He has even given them a testimony, even as the testimony of Christ was conformed in you. Mm. So now you have the testimony of Christ and the testimony of Christ Jesus is in you. Why is it in you? Because it's in your heart. 
is in your spirit and you believe and ain't nobody going to shake you. Hallelujah. The knowing that Jesus Christ is Lord, knowing that he died on the cross. Hallelujah. You ain't going around listening to every false doctor and every false teacher, false apostle, false prophet. Hallelujah. That's why they say you need to know Jesus for yourself. Hallelujah. Don't get me wrong. We got order in God's house. Maybe I need to preach that again. Some apostles, some prophets, some preachers, some teachers, some evangelists. You can't belong to no church and say God is leading you somewhere. I don't care if he did put you in the office of an apostle or a prophet. Hallelujah. You got to belong to a church. Listen, people say I don't, uh, my God, help me, Jesus. People say I don't agree with organized religion anymore. But the problem that I have with that, Jesus ordained the church. Jesus put the church together for the body of Christ. Yes, we know devils have infiltrated it. Hallelujah. But Jesus has set the church up for the edifying of the saints. So whenever you say, I don't go to church no more, and I just don't believe in all that, the devil is deceiving you. You have no covering. You can't take the devil on by yourself. I don't care who you are. I don't care how anointed you are. You can't do that. Hallelujah. You can say, well, Jesus did it when he was in his humanity. That's Jesus. Hallelujah. That ain't you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I just want to let you know right now, even as the testimony of Christ was conformed, confirmed in you. See, they had a testimony of Christ Jesus. Their testimony is they know that Jesus Christ is working in my life. I know that Jesus Christ has delivered me out of my sin, out of my iniquity, out of my transgression, out of my abominations. Hallelujah. Glory. God has delivered me out of filth. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. We thank you and we honor you today, Father God. Mm. Thank you, Lord. So in verse five, he said that that in everything ye are enriched by him in all utterance and in all knowledge. God has enriched you. God has given you more knowledge. God has given you more revelation. God has given you more understanding than you than he has given anybody around you. Hallelujah. The church of Corinth was sanctified by Christ Jesus. We'll get into the history of, of Corinth a little bit later, but this church in Corinth, it's in the providence of Rome. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So in all utterance and in all knowledge, God has given them knowledge above the understanding of the people around them. Mm, glory to God. Even as the testimony of Christ Jesus was conform confirmed in you. See the, see the testimony that they have. Can't nobody shake them off the testimony. Why? Because they have a personal experience with Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. I said they have a personal experience with Christ Jesus. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. A personal experience with Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless your name today, Father. We praise you and we love you anyhow. Hallelujah. You want to have that personal experience with Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. So your bishop can say, so your apostle can say, I thank God for you always, glory to God, mm. on your behalf for the grace of God, which is given you by Christ Jesus. You want your apostle, you want your prophet, you want your pastor to thank God for you. Hallelujah. Why? Because you say, why? Because you love God. Why? Because you do everything 
for Christ. Hallelujah. Ain't nothing wrong with, you know, the, the church giving you a little bit of something, but if they don't give you nothing, you're going to be there serving because you're doing it for Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Let's read verse 7 again, 1 Corinthians 1 and 7. Chapter 1, verse 7. So that ye come behind no gift, waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So he ain't going to have you waiting behind nobody. Mm. Glory to God. Hey, who on the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, See, you have been able to get to the front of the line. Hallelujah. Why? Because you love the Lord. Glory to God. Why? Because you need the Lord. Glory to God. Why? Because you live the word to the best of your ability. Glory to God. You apply every word to your life. And by you applying every word to your wife, to your life. Hallelujah. Mm. You don't come behind nobody in the gifts mm. waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. Who glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Verse eight, who shall confirm you unto the end that ye may be blameless. Glory to God in that day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, you want to be blameless in that day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, my God, thank you, Jesus. If you don't, mm, who glory to God. If you're here doing a rapture, glory to God. I said, if you're here doing a rapture, mm, glory to God. Mm. Hallelujah. God has confirmed you until the end. Hallelujah. That you may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. So if, if death don't take you where you're going up to heaven and you here doing a rapture, God is testifying for you. Hallelujah. Jesus is testifying for you, for you. He said, you're blameless in the, in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. God is faithful to whom hey, ye were called unto the fellowship of the son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. I said unto the son of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Glory to your mighty name. Listen to them. Remember the subject. Hallelujah. To them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus. We want to make sure that we are sanctified in Christ Jesus. We're going to make sure that our mind is sanctified in Christ Jesus, that our heart is sanctified in Christ Jesus, that our ear gate is sanctified in Christ Jesus, that our eye gate is sanctified in Christ Jesus. Even the tongue is sanctified in Christ Jesus. Remember what the Bible say, the power of the tongue is worse than hellfire. You must tame your tongue in order to be saved. In order to get everything for Christ, you must tame your tongue. Hallelujah. He said it's worse than hellfire. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You need to be talking about blessing people, not cursing them, not trying to put some spell or some witchcraft on them. You need to say, Lord, bless them. Lord, help them. Lord, keep them. Lord Jesus, show them the way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are glory to God. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Let's read verse 9. God is faithful by whom ye were called unto the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. God is faithful. See, God, see your faithfulness. Glory to God. I said, God, see your faithfulness. When don't nobody else see it, God, see it. When you up late at night praying, God see it. Don't nobody see it. When you up early in the morning and you're praying, God see it. Don't nobody else see it. When you up late at night reading your Bible, God see it. Don't nobody else see it. Early in the morning at five and four, God see it. Don't nobody else see it. Hallelujah. You better thank the Lord Jesus Christ 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Mm. God has called you blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. You want to be blameless in that day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Be blameless. That is my goal. I want to be blameless. Again, I'm going to tell you, I, I'm not preaching weakness, but I know we make mistakes sometimes. But you don't live in your mistake. You better get down and repent. Lord, forgive me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wash me in the blood of Jesus. Help me, Father God, to stay out of my sin. Help me to stay out of my flesh, Lord. My flesh is pulling on me, Jesus. And I want to be blameless in that day, Lord. So I don't want to yield to my flesh, Lord. I don't want to be no adulterer, no fornicator. I sure enough don't want to get into no abomination, bestiality, homosexuality. Hallelujah. Bind up masturbation. I love, we bind that perverted spirit up. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Bind up the spirit of masturbation and all these sex toys. That ain't what God wants. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God said man and woman. Lord Jesus, I wasn't supposed to be on marriage, but let me hit it. God said man and woman. He didn't say two men. He didn't say two women. You can go get you a sex change if you want to. If you came out of your mama a female, you are a female no matter what surgery you got. And if you came out of your mama as a male and you got a surgery where you want to be a female, you are still a male. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It don't matter what kind of surgery you get. You cannot do that. Now you are saying that you are God. The devil is a liar. And you want people to accept sin. It ain't hate speech. We just don't accept sin. I got to tell you the truth. If don't nobody tell you the truth, there's no way you can recover. But at least you'll know the truth. And if you know the truth and you hear the truth, there's a possibility that you can get saved, that you can get redeemed. Hallelujah. But if somebody always telling you it's okay, it don't matter. We all struggle with some. Listen, don't don't fall for that. Uh, yeah, look, I know, my God, I know, I know ain't nobody perfect. But there's some things that the church need to stand up against. I don't care if the Pope said it was okay. I don't I don't care. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You better stand on this word and pray, Lord, you always allow me to rightly divide the word of truth. I'm telling you the scripture that been on me for the last year. Those who or those who are ordained to preach the gospel must live it. First Corinthians 9 and 14. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just go there and let's read it. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. First Corinthians 9 and 14. Mm. It says, even so has the Lord ordained that they which preach the gospel should live of the gospel. Mm. See, we should live by the gospel. And, and and we ain't just talking about the preacher, the prop, the prophet, apostle, preacher, teacher, evangelist. We talking about the saints in church. You may not be a preacher, but you're a saint of God. You still got to live this word. And as an apostle, as a prophet, we do our best to live the word. Hallelujah. Like they say, we can't come down off the tower just because you want to live like a devil. And you get mad with somebody telling you you living like a devil and you know you living like a devil. And then you telling them, oh, you judging. It ain't a judgment. We see you sinning and you are enjoying your sin. You ain't trying to come out of your sin. That's a whole nother subject. Hallelujah. I tell you to go ahead and uh, uh, find that message. Uh, I don't even know the date of it. Hallelujah. One step higher than sin. That's iniquity. One step higher than sin. That's iniquity. Hallelujah. That's in Ecclesiastics 8 and 13, I believe. Listen, my God, help me today. 
We want to be sanctified in Christ Jesus. That means living his word. Thank God you study it, but you also got to live it. We got to apply this word to our life. Yes, we got stuff we got to work out and we got our own issues, but you shouldn't be running rampant and, and you ain't, you ain't, don't have nothing to check in your life. Your flesh is running rampant. Hallelujah. Doing some of everything and you ain't even trying to control it. Lord Jesus, help me today, Father God. Hallelujah. To them that are sanctified. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. I said glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. To them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus. First Corinthians chapter two. I'm sorry, chapter one, verse two. It's in the middle of the verse, but let me read the whole verse. Unto the church of God, which is at Corinth, to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints with all that in every place call, the, call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Our Lord, both theirs and ours. Listen to me. Call upon the name Jesus, but let's live right. We want to be sanctified in our mind. We want to be sanctified in our speech. Remember, words have power. And that's why we got to start speaking positive <clears throat> words to each other. And we got to start speaking positive words to ourselves. All you doing is calling your husband a dummy he don't know nothing can't never do nothing and all you're doing is calling your wife dumb and illiterate and all this other stuff and then you calling your kids all kind of all kind of names you're dumb you're stupid you ain't gonna never be nothing the devil is a liar you better cancel that hallelujah i cancel every evil word that i've spoken over my son intentionally unintentionally or my children my daughter my mama my daddy my sibling i cancel it right now in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah to them that are sanctified mm. hallelujah to them that are sanctified in christ jesus hallelujah to them that are in sanctified in christ jesus First Corinthians chapter one, verse two, listen to me. You want to be sanctified in Christ Jesus, not according to your will or your way, but according to Jesus's way, according to Jesus's will, according to the word of God. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Because when you sanctify your own way, you into perversion now. And you saying that, uh, God still loves me, which God does, but you ain't going to go to heaven doing that kind of stuff. That's why Jesus died on the cross. If Jesus didn't need to come and die on the cross, hallelujah, we'd be doing some of everything and still go to heaven. That ain't what he did. Hallelujah, Jesus died. He shed his blood upon the cross. He told his father, forgive them for they know not what they do. They didn't really believe that he was the son of man. They really didn't believe, hallelujah, that he was the word. They didn't believe, my God, that he was the son of God. And they did that. Mm, glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Listen, to them that are sanctified, I'm about to end this right now. To them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus, Lord, I want to be sanctified in Christ Jesus. I need to be sanctified in Christ Jesus. I want to be closer to you. That means I need to be sanctified in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me pray. Father God, we destroy and we eradicate every evil altar that somebody has put up for us against us. We burn it up. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire right now. Every witch and every warlock, Holy Ghost fire come against you. Every hex, every spell, Holy Ghost fire come against you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We bind the mind snatching demons. We bind every spirit of depression, demon of depression. We bind suicide. We bind schizophrenia. Hallelujah. We bind just a crazy mind, Lord, a lunatic mind, Father. We bind up and we cast out selfishness in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask that you help us today. There's so many people where their conscience is seared with a hot iron. They don't even have feelings anymore. Lord, we ask that you help them today, Lord. We ask that you deliver them today, Father God. In the mighty sweet name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. To them that are sanctified, hallelujah, glory. To them that are sanctified, hallelujah in Christ Jesus. Lord, we pray that everybody seek to be sanctified in Christ Jesus, Lord. And Father God, we come to you right now and we ask that you forgive us for all of our sins, Lord. For everything we said that was wrong, we did that was wrong, things that we indulged in that was wrong, whether we participated in it or whether we just liked it for enjoyment, Father. Lord, we ask that you forgive us for every idle and evil word that we have spoke against people or situations that we should not have spoken on. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for saving me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Remember, we got a YouTube page and a Facebook page. That's the Heart of David International Ministry. Hallelujah. We do ask that you like, subscribe, and share. If you want prayer, if you got any questions, you can go to hodim.org. That is our church website. You can request prayer. You can re if you have any questions, we will answer you. You can also email me at my personal email at hodim1117 at gmail.com. Listen, you be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Right now, God's dealing with you. That's good. Hallelujah. Pray, Lord, save me. Lord, forgive me. Hallelujah. Give me another chance. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I will be with you Saturday at 10 a.m. for our Saturday morning service. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Hallelujah. Glory.